Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel for another video. My name's Macy. I am a 2L at Northwestern California University School of Law. They are a completely online law school that is bar, California Bar accredited. And today is my first day of school, basically. So my term technically does not start until Tuesday. Today is Sunday but I have the day off, so I want to start working on getting ahead. I'm at least gonna do a little bit. I mentioned in my last video, like I didn't have my books. I just filmed that video like yesterday. So I still don't have any of my books. I am meeting up with a friend who lives in the same area as I do, who is a year ahead of me at that school. And so she's gonna see what books that she has. So I don't wanna buy anything yet until I know what she has, cause that's just silly, but yeah. Uh, I have a lot to do today, kind of. I really want to get our house in shape. If you don't know, we just recently moved. We just bought this house. Um, and we've been in here almost a month. But our first whole week, we were working on getting one of our tenants set up in their unit. Our second whole week, we were both sick. And so finally, this last week, we've been able to start doing some stuff. We actually have couches now. Um, but yeah. As you can see, it is a disaster. Nothing still has homes. I finally got tired of looking at the boxes two days ago. So I said, screw it. And I dumped everything out of every single box just so we could get rid of the boxes. Um, so now I need to put that stuff away from the mess that I made. So I'm gonna go take a shower first, I think. Um, and then I'll do a little bit of a tidying up, put some stuff away and then get started on some of my schoolwork. All right, I'm out of the shower. I tried to at least somewhat blow dry my hair just so it's not sopping wet. And I'm gonna set just like two little projects for myself. So one, I'm gonna do laundry. I'm gonna put away this laundry and gather up all the dirty laundry, start a new load. Two, I'm going to unload this tote of stuff that came from my mom's house. It's been there since Christmas, since we didn't have our own house at Christmas. So. I'm just gonna do those two things real quick because those two things alone will make a big difference in how cluttered our house is. It'll definitely help. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, technically I have a bigger mess now because all the cardboard that needs to go in the recycle and there's no room in the recycle, but at least that stuff is sort of put away. So that's good. Um, Start a little laundry now. All right, so my last video I did basically like prepping and that kind of thing. Um, I filled out my planner for my first week. I'm going to attempt my classes in this order. So one class for each day. My first day is business associations, so I'm going to watch my first lecture and do 10 definitions. So at the top of our lectures page for this class, it has like the current classes. Um, I like to watch them in order, so I'm not really going to start with any of those until I can kind of get caught up, but it has the current classes and my favorite professor is Professor Mary, so I'm going to start with hers and she provides like an outline in the beginning as well. And you can email her to get a Today copy. Today we're starting with corporations. First thing to know, if you don't have my outline and you want it, just email me. So I have my folder for business associations and my notebook. 
I've got my regular black pen and my red pen just to highlight anything important. So I'm gonna sit here and watch this lecture. Same as Professor Fleming. Okay, so I just finished that lecture. I have four whole pages of notes for business associations. We just went over um, like different structures of business, which was a good refresh from when I took accounting in undergrad. It did kind of suck a little bit having this chunk of stuff from my other notes, so maybe I'll rip that out later. Um, and I actually have to go pick Zach up from work. I dropped him off at work this morning because he bought me... He was buying donuts for his whole work, but I love donuts as treats. So I dropped him off so I could get a donut and I need to go pick him up for his lunch. So I'm going to go do that now. Probably take a quick lunch break with him while he's home. And then I'll get on to doing my definitions. Because also my Black's Law Dictionary is in my car. Because I have, I put all of my law school books in there for like safekeeping while we're moving. And I haven't even unpacked them yet because I haven't needed them. So yeah. All right, I'm sitting down to work on my definitions. So I have my list pulled up that I put together when I was going through my syllabi. And I have my Black's Law Dictionary. And I have my notes from my first lecture. So as you can see here, the very first definition, sole proprietorship. And that's my first definition on my notes. Um, I talked about this in my like 1L wrap up video, how normally like the first 10 definitions correspond to the first lecture. This one seems to be a little bit more all over the place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the definitions that I already have from my notes here. So I'll do sole proprietorship here and then I'll do partnership down here. Limited partnership, general, limited partner, all these other partnership ones. Um, I'll do corporation and then if I haven't done 10 by the time I kind of sporadically do those, I will start from the top here. I don't know if that makes sense. All right, so here is just an example of one of them. So first you have to put your definition and then below that you need some kind of example to further illustrate the definition just to show that you really do know what it means. So I'm gonna do that for 10 definitions. Alright, so here's one definition, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I can cross that one off of my list. Alright, I am editing a vlog to go up tonight. It is just over an hour long, so I have a lot of editing to do and a lot to cut it down on. Good morning, it is 6.30. Zach is gonna make breakfast. My makeup is terrible. Um, I'm gonna start working on a criminal procedure. There, uh, you know, it's not a conflict of interest. This is a lot like what we learned about in business associations. Yes, disinterest. They have a conflict of interest, that'd be the same thing. No conflict. So it is officially a sad day if You've been watching me for a while, you know my absolute favorite professor to watch lectures from is Professor Mary. Well, for criminal procedure, she does not have any lectures on here. So that's really sad. I just clicked through four different professors until I found one that I was liking. So far it's um, Professor Mike Bishop. So I just watched Two of his lectures one was like an intro lecture which was just going over the class and then the other was like an actual substantive one these are actually from last year so i first watched this introduction one and then i watched this one on search and seizure this introduction one i actually didn't even watch the full thing because i was just trying to figure out if i was going to like his or not so i skipped where the material was 
So between the two of those lectures, I ended up with just under four hours of VAE watch time, which was really good because this class is recommended to watch one to one and a half hours of VAE. So that's really nice. Next, I'm going to work on my 10 definitions and then I wanna do a little bit of wedding planning because I am way behind on that. Sorry, the lighting's not very good. Um, these are my notes that I ended up with for this first criminal procedure class. So I have just barely one page. Um, there's a lot of good info here, but there's not a lot of definitions unlike Professor Mary's. She definitely gives the definitions. Um, so I use my Black's Law Dictionary a lot more for these definitions. Um, and a lot of these are I don't know, not exact definitions like Bill of Rights and the 14th Amendment. That's not in the Black's Law Dictionary. Um, it's just wanting you to apply it. Um, same with like standing and a reasonable expectation of privacy. So I did those first eight in a row and then we didn't really talk about any of this. So I skipped down to seizure and arrest because those ones were just two quick and easy ones to look up in the Black's Law Dictionary. Okay, that took me just under two hours to do, so I am going to get ready for work now, and I'll try to catch up after work. All right, I am home from work now. The lighting's terrible because it's just about dark. Um, I thought I would do a quick little Dollar Tree haul or Dollar 25 haul. Zach had me go get some soda for some drinks and I also wanted to get some organization stuff. So I got two sodas, they're over there somewhere. Um, I saw this stain remover spot and stain remover so we actually already tried it out on one spot on our carpet there's one spot in the living room and one spot in the office that has stains on the carpet and then we scrubbed it with the um drill attachment brush and you can still see the stain if you're looking for it but it is way lighter now so that is cool and for cleaning i also got this lime away stuff. Um, I've been meaning to get some cleaning products. And so while I was at Dollar Tree, I just figured I'd try these out. This removes lime, calcium, and rust. So there is like a ring in our toilet that we can't get out. So I figured I'd try this. And then also there's rust around our bathroom sink. Hopefully it'll work. Um, at least as a little band-aid fix until we are able to completely remodel the bathroom. Then they had some yarn. So I bought some of that. This is the Just Chenille. This stuff goes super freaking fast. Um, and I've only seen it like actually in stock once. The rest of the time, it's like stuff that's hiding in the back that I find digging through the yarn bin. So I got four of these baby blue colors and I can only find two white, so I got two of those. Then I got two of these bins. I'm actually going to take these to work with me. Um, so I'm gonna stock up on some snacks at work and then I'm also going to make like kind of a little first aid kit in the other one. So I'm just gonna put stuff that I use all the time and that I always need but never have. So I bought a couple of those things. So first I have some hair ties. Then I have my favorite chapstick. This stuff is super juicy. And then I'm just gonna put like pads and tampons, ibuprofen, maybe some other medicine stuff. I don't know what else, we'll see. If you have any ideas on what I could include in that for me at work. Um, I've been at my job for almost a year. It'll be one year in like two weeks. So 
it's about time that I do that. Especially now Zach is, he's had Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. No, he's had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off since August. So we haven't had a day off together since August. Um, and his schedule is changing back to Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, when he's not gonna be home on lunch, I really want to just have lunch at the office and sit there and study. Um, so yeah, that's why I wanna like stock up on snacks. I'm gonna do like a Costco run, I think. My boss is bringing in a mini fridge and I'm gonna do some meal prepping for some lunches. All right, then I found these little baskets in the cooking stuff. These are just three little square containers. Um, these will be good for like little teas um, or just miscellaneous things in the junk drawer. And then I got a few of these containers. These are really nice. Um, so I bought three of this size and I may use these for silverware because our silverware container does not fit like going the normal direction. We have to turn it and I really don't like that. Um, I don't know though. We'll see what I use them for. They're a little bit too deep for silverware, I feel like, but I may put steak knives in here and straws because those aren't really organized. They were just thrown on the side before. And then I got these ones that are a little bit wider, um, probably also for kitchen utensils, that kind of thing. So now I don't know what I'm going to do. Probably just tidy up a little bit, um, put some stuff away that kind of thing. I should have just shown you the before of our bedroom. It was so bad. So there were like clothes thrown in here. There were bags of stuff that needed to be unpacked. Um, my shoes, I just completely dumped all three boxes of shoes out right here because I was tired of looking at the boxes. And so I got stuff put away. So that's clean clothes that need to go away, but I'm not worried about those right now. I got all my shoes put away. I have my pants, um, this one has swimsuits, that has scarves, extra swimsuits up there, and my extra bags, and that one has, um, beanies, and I don't know what's in that bottom box. Anyways, so it's looking much better. So I just did a little bit of wedding planning. This is my inspo for our save the dates. I really like the idea of the vellum with the info over the top of the picture. That way people have a picture to keep even after our wedding. Um, so here is what I came up with. This is the picture that I'm gonna use from our engagement pictures. And then this will be the overlay. And then I'll put our wedding website down on the bottom. But I have not even finished it yet. I've barely even started it, if I'm being honest. So my mom has already given me, like, a finalized guest list of who she wants invited. So Zach's mom and I are going to get together this weekend and go over her list of people and get addresses. Because I really need to get going on this stuff. So that is going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more law school vlogs. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.